Hi, everybody. It is now September 10. It is 1.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep, they got it going. They got it going. Boy, uh, yeah, I've been reading the comments below, and an awful lot of you are really dealing with a whole lot, a whole range of symptoms, which, well, certainly the uh, tinnitus, however you have described it, the hissing, the buzzing, the knocking sounds that you're hearing are related to the frequencies. Uh, the inability to sleep, a whole lot of you are, what, sleeping maybe two hours and you're up and uh, feeling like crap, the chronic physical pain, and then, you know, the major medical issues that so many of you are dealing with. I, look, you know, these frequencies are really causing a tremendous amount of breakdown, uh, societal breakdown, social breakdown, um, physical problems and a whole lot of people. Many more, you know, that we know because, you know, they're not attributing the, <clears throat> the symptoms that they have to these frequencies that bombard us every single day. All right, this video actually is about the Bahamas, but I want you to see something. This is now current time. The hissing that I'm hearing is very loud. And I have to tell you, I, I have really strange symptoms tonight. I feel like I've been beat up. You know, my, I feel like I've got, like I've been punched in my arms and my left arm you know, the upper arm feels like I have a really bad burn, but I don't. I don't. And of course, this friggin' chronic neck pain that just never goes away. Um, and boy, do I have many more cognitive issues now. I'm noticing a lot of you are having, well, difficulty writing, leaving out words. And that's happening to me in virtually every uh, response, every email. I leave out a whole lot of words. And the only way that I can catch it before I send it is that I really have to pay attention when I am proofreading it before sending it. But whole words are being left out, and I'm seeing that in the comment section often, frequently, a lot <laughs> these days. So it's happening to a lot of you as well. All right, um, what do we have going on here? Is this like a, well, what, what is this? Um, do you have like a storm in uh, North Louisiana that going into Arkansas and it, well, it's evaporating. I, I what is that? Um, man, I have to say, this world that we are living in never ceases to amaze me. It just, it's truly huh, one hell of a trip. But look at all of these frequencies and this, what? Well, this evaporates into Colorado, and then it gets a, a real shot of an extremely low frequency. And, well, frequencies, yeah, uh, the pulsing seems to be at a different um, power as well. I'm seeing many more... Um, like nanosecond pulses of extremely low frequencies. But I've got to show you what I saw earlier today. Look at this. Come on. All right. Um, you see this? <laughs> really? You're going to tell me that that's Mother Nature creating a whole uh, line of severe, severe weather for... Georgia, um, 
Mississippi, I think into Louisiana. I'll get back down there. But um, this was at 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. yesterday, Eastern Standard Time. There's a huge pulse here in Northern California. Very powerful pole, um, pulse. What's going on here in Montana? I mean, you see the creation of what? Oh, well, a little bit of precipitation, but mostly plaza, and then it just evaporates. Phew, man. So much is going on, guys. So friggin' much. And you know what pisses me off the most? I'm not able to do what I used to be able to do. I am really pissed off. And it's not just that I'm, you know, feeling a lot physically, but cognitively, I, I can't, I can't pull it together enough. And I, I know th this is not me, you know, it's like something's going on. South Carolina, all the way in, you know, to the border of Louisiana, right to the border. Oh, or the border of Mississippi, sorry. You, really? Are you, you... Okay. I don't think so. I do not think that that is Mother Nature creating that. I think that's nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, creating our weather. All right. Um, yeah, here, here is the, <laughs> the, the... Oh, God. I mean, you would think that you would be able to just show this to someone and they would get it. Oh, wow, that doesn't look natural at all. Doesn't look natural at all. What is that about? Hmm. Looks like a, these cloud formations. I mean, South Carolina right to that Mississippi-Louisiana border. And all in just the straight line, well, somewhat, you know, straight. Now the cloud there for Mississippi. Um, perfectly round here. Wow. Cool, huh? Mother Nature, you got your stuff together. You got it together, girl. Now this is all an artificial creation of man. All right. Um, may as well show you what was going on at 8... Uh, 8.30 p.m. Got an awful lot of radar pulsing at 8.30 p.m. right down the East Coast. That's, you know, I'm seeing that more regularly. They're starting early. But yeah, those storms, okay. Uh, well, I guess they got something going in Mississippi, Louisiana. And well, I guess that's now what I just showed you in current time, Arkansas, storms, um, you guys in these areas, in these states, you know, did you get weather today? I don't even know. Louisiana, did you get a lot of severe storms? Yeah, I should have, you know, researched it, but man, I can't research everything. I just can't. It's, it's really, it's getting to me, guys, because I can't do what I used to be able to do. You know, I feel like I'm being, you know, um, artificially brought down. Artificially, like it's induced. Here at 10 o'clock. Wow, 10 o'clock. Radar. Ah, you're early. You are early, man. What's going on? What is going on? Well, I, I absolutely do believe that they are keeping down the population, making them exhausted, making them feel sick, uh, mind control, you know, getting them to be just crazy nut jobs who believe that their opinion is fact and evidence. It's, it's same weight. My opinion's good enough, you know. The dumbed down Americans, um, this dumbing them down even more. Uh, and putting them in this apathetic, paralytic state, <clears throat> state where, you know, they just don't care about anything and they're going to sit and watch their boob tube. All right, well, so yeah, this is current time.
U.S. sows confusion over how Bahamas residents may enter after Hurricane Dorian. Unbelievable. So that video that I posted on the 130 who were kicked off a boat, you know, to take them out of Abaco. And it was because they didn't have visas. It, that is dictated by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has released additional guidance on visa requirements for Bahamians trying to travel to the United States. All right, this is humanitarian, okay? This, this is, uh, well, you allow them in to all of those who are saying <clears throat> the queen, you know, should be evacuating these people to England. Okay, but they're not. They're not. And, uh, but we seem to allow more and more illegal immigrants into this country. They have no documentation. They cross the border illegally and, hey, come on in. Um, but people who are on this island, they need visas. Do you see that something's wrong here? I hope, I hope you do. I really hope you do. Bahamians, Bahamians <laughs> arriving to the United States by vessel must be in possession of a valid passport and valid travel visa, the Department of Homeland Security said. Viva, visa waivers could be granted for some travelers who fly to the U.S. So flying to the United States, you can get a waiver, but if you come by boat, you need a visa. All right, help me, guys, because my brain is going. Help me. Help me to understand that, please. All right. Speaking at the White House. All right. Um, Mark Morgan, who is Acting Customs and Border Protection Commissioner, all right, said he has processed thousands of folks from two cruise ships as well as aircraft. I have to wonder if it's thousands. But he, he said that Border Patrol agents will accept anyone on humanitarian reasons that needs to come here, whether they have proper travel documents or not. We've already processed people that have travel documents and don't have and don't have travel documents. Okay, this is a humanitarian mission. If your life is in jeopardy and you're in the Bahamas and you want to get to the United States, you're going to be allowed to come to the United States. He said there would still be some vetting to make sure that we're not letting dangerous people in, taking advantage of this. Right, because, well, they're in charge of protecting all of us, right? Do you know how many people have been let loose in our country? Department of Homeland Security released another 30,000 criminal aliens onto streets. Oh, but Carol, that was 2015. That was before Trump got into office. Well, wait. Federal immigration officers released another 30,000 immigrants with criminal records last year. Following the 36,000 it released in 2013, the government announced Wednesday, though it promised to take steps to cut down on that problem. Yeah, we can't seem to deport. We release from jail felons, felons, who have committed crimes, serious crimes, murder, rape, uh, vehicular manslaughter, drunk driving and killing someone, uh, dangerous criminals. Then June 3rd, that was March 2015. This is June 2015. 
some of those released were the worst of the worst. More than 3,700 threat level one criminals who were deemed the top priority for deportation were still released onto the community even as they waited for their immigration cases to be heard. Now, why do you think our government departments whose mission is to protect Americans would release thousands of threat level one criminals and 30,000 one year and then, oh, I don't know, tens of thousands another year and well, let's see, 2014 ICE document details 36,000 criminal aliens released in 2013. But don't worry, Congress, they held a hearing on this problem. Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, Jason Chavez, he led that. Congressional hearing, what the hell is going on? Why are we releasing so many? dangerous criminals back onto the street of America. Well, huh, Congress, they did that job to get it fixed right. 2019, ICE releases list of accused rapists, murders, shielded by sanctuary law. Trump has, and I have a video on my playlist the name of the playlist, Trump. Uh, the number, the numbers released by the Department of Homeland Security and ICE onto the streets, onto, into, you know, your communities, these criminals who, uh, I'm not talking about just, oh, illegal crossing. No, I'm talking about they having commit crimes here in the United States and then released back onto the streets. So, uh, are they incompetent or are they setting us up for violence? So I, I find it very interesting that, you know, we are vetting these people from wanting to escape what's going on in areas of the Bahamas. Trump, let's see, President Trump appeared to contradict Morgan. We have to be very careful. Everybody needs totally, everybody needs totally proper documentation. Uh, Morgan said people found to have long criminal records will be turned over to Immigration and Customs Enforcement. We're not letting dangerous people in. We're just releasing them back onto the streets of your communities. Funny. They need proper documentation, and Trump is allowing illegal immigrations to, uh, immigrants to come over the border. But when you're escaping a real tragedy, a real catastrophe, trying to save your own life, well, that's when you need proper documentation. Jesus, our country is so friggin screwed up okay please check out Bahamas Press you know I don't know too many um, websites to go to to get actual real information but it seems like Bahamas Press is doing it this woman the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin uh, spokesperson on the environment comments on the oil spill at the oil storage facility, formerly Burma Oil in East Grand Bahama. Yes, they've got an oil spill. It's hard to hear her because of the wind. Over the tanks, but into, into the earth, 
and um, we are very concerned that, they, from what we can see, there appears to be no effort to remediate the situation. Yeah, okay, they have an oil spill. The oil is going into the earth, and there appears to be no effort to remediate. Why not? Where, are, where is everybody? What's going on in the Bahamas? Well, it appears that the authorities are not doing their job. Not doing their job. So, what else do we have? You know, I look at some of this damage and, you know, I wonder because massive rain flooding um, and so much of the piles of wood look clean. They look clean. I mean, I, I, would, I would have expected, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. Every Bahamian leader, local and national, who aided the illegal shanty dwellings on Abaco, which has now resulted in the murder of hundreds, including women and children, has blood on their hands. You knew they were in danger. You knew and did nothing. Nothing. thousands. You're not going to hear this from mainstream media. I don't know why they downplay, you know, the numbers that, you know, have been affected by and also have been killed by um, these, well, severe weather events, but they do. They do greatly. Major oil spill delivering dangerous environmental damage. Where are the environmental groups on Grand Bahama? Time has, you know, this video, 30 seconds of the oil spilling into the ocean. You know, and talk about the looting. Another mass exodus of undocumented. I'm sorry, the looting is coming up, but getting filtered into the Bahamas Islands. No immigration officer to check them. You don't know how to get here. They're going to be moving on to another island to recover. Okay. Check the presence this morning. Now, there, there are videos with people saying there's no police, no police, no police. No police. You know, where, why, what's going on? Marsh Harbor, Harbor, Abaco. They, here, um, <laughs> sorry for that. High impact vlogs. Something screwy is happening to the aid sent to the Bahamas. Or is it? We don't know. Um, the the Dr. Du Bois office? Not a single police in this town. All of the police are sitting there at Maxwell's smoking cigars. The defense wants to sit up in their bus. Trying to trade in the Abercrombie. All the police, the defense force are sitting at Maxwell's in their bus smoking cigars. Somebody is telling them not to come through Marsh Harbor. This has to be a conspiracy theory. The people of Marsh Harbor, Cherokee, are scared. If the police would have had security in this town, we would have had this cleaned up days ago. We would have had these roads cleaned up days ago. Listen to what I'm telling you. Millions of dollars worth of aid, the Senate in Florida wants to get in these towns. Millions of dollars. All of that is being held up by NEMA, they have the airport closed. There's nothing wrong with Marshall Harbor Airport. This town is dry. That airport could have been landing aircraft days ago. All of us are scared to come into this town. Shine it over here, shine it over here. People are still going in and out of these food stores rummaging around for food. People should not have to be looking for food. Look, look, what's out of police in now? 
Yeah. No, that wasn't a glitch. This, this is, is the... the you know, that is the Jonkunu function and down. The, look, shine, shine the light of Jonkunu Park. Shine, shine the camera over there. This, this is Jonkunu Park. Park. When, when they do Jonkunu here, or any other rap clap, they have must be a dozen police here on every corner, got every corner blocked. That's tight security for Jonkunu. Not a single police in town! Look at this, look at this. So, my, all of my friends and family to the south, all of them want to come up here to help me. All! We would have this town this cleaned up, we would have been doing search and rescue, we would have had people looking through the bushes. All of these bushes here, we could have been searching for people. The mud is behind us directly. The wind came out the north. All of the missing people are, are like, they're through the bushes up here. There's not a single person looking for survivors. Not a single person. They, they want to get us out of this. It's, it's got to be some kind of conspiracy theory. They want this town to die. This town, there's nothing wrong with this town right now. This can be cleaned up. We, we should have been looking for survivors three days ago. I got dozens of friends in Florida who want to be the help and section. And they just, look, something's going on, I'm telling you. Like, this, they do not want people to come here to help. Look, not a single police. In this is the old rest of auto building. That people was up on top of that and still got washed off. Not a single, but not a single police presence in town from day one until now. And this is how many days into this. Well, I didn't even know what today is. What? This is day seven. Who is this? They police? No, they just coming into town. Not a single police all of Marshaba. My voice is going awesome until now. I will link below to everything you can continue watching. High Impacts Flicks also posted this video uh, on High Impact Vlogs. What the fuck is happening in the Bahamas? The stench of death is so bad. The oil? Well, I can't play this video. It's one of those weather chasing, storm chasing channels but yeah there is a problem there's a big problem it's leaking a lot of oil okay well problems all over man problems all over but you go through these videos and it's heartbreaking. It's so... Look, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm... I don't know. Maybe I'm just really tired and my defenses are low. But I'm really struggling. Some of the videos, the audio doesn't work on this uh, Twitter page. God. The people of Abaco are really hurt by the government's response. Well, yeah, you've been unbelievably betrayed. There's been no response. The diocese has established a GoFundMe account. Bishop Boyd calls on the church to keep prayerful in the aftermath of Hurricane Dorian as parishes organize one of the greatest moves to the recovery of people on Grand Bahama and Abaco. Uh, you can check out more by clicking on this hyperlink. Um, People are looting, but I don't think they're looting. I, I, you know. But I don't know, you know. Somebody might leave a comment, well, what are they going to do with tires? You can actually create a shelter with those tires. 
but Marvin Dame said there was no looting, he lied. Here is the evidence, why lie? I don't know. You know, that's the problem with liars. You look at all of this and it almost looks too clean, you know, to be, you know, in massive flooding and, you know, torrential downpours. Carting off the dead. More than 3,000 are feared dead. I will link below to everything. It's, we've got so much going on, guys, so much. It's overwhelming.